We take on many, many, many difficult sex crime prosecutions with individuals uh, irrespective of their, their background or their money. So that's not an issue for us. We really are based on the facts, not what people think about it. Manhattan DA Cyrus Vance there from earlier today explaining why his office did not prosecute Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein for an allegation of sexual abuse back in 2015. Some of the accusations that led to Harvey Weinstein's firing from his own company go beyond harassment. According to the New Yorker magazine, three women say that he raped them. One of them, Azia Argento, told CNN that every word of the New Yorker story was true. Now, Weinstein is denying those accusations. However, Plenty of people are left wondering if there will be legal ramifications for the now disgraced producer. Annalise Getz is here. She's an attorney and is the perfect person to ask this because I think, I think originally it was the shock, the horror. Oh my goodness, this is awful. He's you know now fired. Wife leaves him. What does the law say? Now he's going to pay. Will he there be charges? Done. Are we going to see charges? Um, charges, I'm not sure if we'll see charges. That's all going to be tied to when, um, as we see more cases come forward, when the crimes were committed, the alleged crimes were committed, and so if we have a statute of limitation issues, and, and if the prosecution has enough evidence to build the case. Right. Because, Michaela, as you and I have talked about in the past, um, it's, it's hard. It's hard to win a rape case. You've got to establish it beyond a reasonable doubt. And for a lot of people that haven't immediately gone in, done a rape kit, given their statement to the police, it's harder as time goes by. But because of the celebrity status here and how there's so many victims coming out of the woodwork, I don't think we're done. I, I mean, I think that we might still see cases that would be ripe for prosecution. Okay, so, away, so rape, you understand, the, the threshold is higher. But even, even if they weren't raped, they were assaulted. There can be assault charges, can there not be? There can, there can be assault charges, there can be rape charges, but what we're really dealing with when we're talking about the criminal, the criminal sphere, not the civil, but no, the criminal. Yeah, criminal. Um, it's, it's all going to be about the statute of limitations. Okay, so let's talk, talk about that because they were, they're, they're looking at California and New York. Mm -hmm. They don't believe that any of these cases happened elsewhere, right? Right now, right. I think the victims that are coming forward are California and New York. We and don't how do know they differ anyone... in terms of statutes? So California, both, both states actually have removed the statute of limitations on these types of crimes, but it isn't retroactive. So in New York, you can go back to 2005. In California, you can go back to 2007. That's legally. That's when that's that's the period you're working with for the statute of limitations. But as a practical point, if you're gonna go back to 2005, you just heard the DA say, "I couldn't difficult. build the case in yeah. 2015." Yeah. If you're going back to 2005, that makes it very, very difficult to prove that case for, against him. So it begs me uh, to ask this question, and and as a woman, mm -hmm. this concerns you. It concerns me. Is the law doing enough to protect women? Yes, because then we have the civil, we have the civil cases, and that's where but I think we're really going to see. But that ruins somebody financially. It doesn't make them. Do you know what I mean? It doesn't put them behind bars, but there's a balancing, right? So we want to make sure our criminal justice system protects the accused. So we really need to make sure that we have all the evidence to bring the charges. It really isn't about the statute of limitations. It's is the evidence there or not? But that's why somebody with this kind of predatory behavior is mm -hmm. extra dangerous because they know how to ju you know it's it's very difficult to prove it seems like hearsay it seems like he said she said and and that's the problem that you have with any of the sexual assault kind of cases <sighs> but we got to do better. as more and more people come out yeah. i really think there's going to be a real case here i really do and if it's not criminal it's definitely going to be civil. civil annalise gets always a delight thank you so much you're fierce on this all right